Hey guys, Lastcast here, and welcome to What the Vlog for the 3rd of January 2012. I hope you guys all had a very good Christmas, New Year, and all the rest of it. And are now currently recovering from eating too many mince pies and nursing your hangovers a bit. Yeah, I know I've been over the past few days, but I did want to get this out today. Okay, the first big announcement I've got here, guys, is that I'm going to announce the winner of the Racing Nori contest. That contest went a hell of a lot better than I thought. It had loads of people entering, tons. It's really good to see. And I did say that if I got over 500 likes on the video, I'd throw in a Razor Goliath's mouse mat as well. And I'm also going to sign the packaging of the Razor Naga. And guys, I can reveal to you that the winner of the Razor Naga is in fact a user called Labour Frat. I can see he's commented on the video, he's favourited it. Did all that kind of awesome stuff. So congrats to you, man. What I'll do is I'll get in touch with you as this video goes out. And I'll get you address and stuff and I will send it off to you. Now, something that is really good, guys, that um, has been announced in the past couple of weeks still with TGN is that we are going to be start being paid monthly. What that means, guys, is it means I can start to run a hell of a lot more contests for you. It's just to say thank you, really, for your continued support of watching my videos and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to t try to run, I'd say, about one contest a month now. So stay subscribed, keep watching, keep supporting me, and I'll try to support you back as best I can by running a contest for you. Okay, what I want to talk about a bit is it's the start of a new year. I've got some new things planned. I've been trying to think of what I want to do, what sort of content I want to cover. And in a previous video, I sort of mentioned that I want to get into more sort of scheduled programming for my videos on my personal channel and on TGN as well. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to say that on Mondays, I'm going to be bringing out a sports video. Now, what I want to do as well is I want to get my channel organized. I'm going to do putting a new channel background up and all that kind of awesome stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these all set up into individual playlists, shows, everything like that. I'm going to get really organized over the next couple of weeks. Like I say, Monday is going to be a sports video. Now, I am playing Sith Inquisitor, and I'm also going to be playing already started playing sorry a smuggler both are about level 15 at the minute i think um so it's either going to be a sifting quizzes video that's going down the assassin route or a smuggler video and that's going to be going down the gunslinger route and i'm looking forward to bringing stuff like that stuff like flashpoints which are the sort of swotor equivalent of a wild dungeon um guides just some general gameplay it's going to be quite random to start with until i get settled and see what you guys like i need to test the water a little bit and all that kind of thing. Tuesday is normal will be What The Vlog, which is just the sort of weekly update show where I answer questions as well and talk about something to come or something I'll be doing. Um, Wednesday is going to be leveling through PvP. I'm going to finish that off. I'm at level 73 now. My hunter's been playing him a bit over Christmas. I'm going to bring out a video on him at 74. All of dings, like the five level dings. So we've got two more, 75, 80, 85, three more. Sorry, my maths is terrible. Um, I will be bringing out on this channel and those videos will in fact go out on Friday. I know I'm skipping forward though. Wednesday is just a video I do on TGM WoW just to go through some stuff in a battleground and all that kind of thing. And now Thursday is the day where I want to do another WoW video but I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing. I know a lot of people want to see me doing Fury PvE. What I might do is I'm either going to do some dungeon runs. Some de what I might do in fact guys is with my Shaman and this was some of the first few videos I did for TGM WoW was I did some DPS rundowns where I went through dungeons looking at DPS and then from those videos I got a bit of feedback on my gameplay and I made some of my own decisions, did a bit more of my own research and stuff and I produced um, two guides um, for a enhanced shaman and they have gone down really well so I might do something for Fury, I may even go into the Wraithfinder as well, do some do some Wraithfinder. At the minute I don't really think I've got the time to really be in a hardcore raiding guild anymore just because with SWOTOR, WoW, everything else, leveling through PvP, all that kind of thing, I don't know if I've just got the time so it might, it might just be some Raid Finder, DPS Rundown seems like a good idea to me, and then doing the guides on that. And like I say, that'll cover Wednesday and Thursday. I've also got an idea for a WoW news show as well. That is something I might be bringing out, I might not have the time to do. So that pretty much covers it, just to just give you, give you a rundown there. Monday's going to be Swoe Tour, Tuesday's going to be What the Vlog, Wednesday's going to be leveling through PvP, Thursday is go going to be some Fury DPS stuff, and Friday is going to be a video on my personal channel, of some WoW stuff. So Wednesday and Thursday the videos will go on TGM WoW. Friday for WoW on this channel. Okay, and that pretty much wraps up the week. I want to get into a lot more into um, doing videos and all that kind of thing because I am starting to make a bit of money off it now, which is awesome. I, mean, I, I love doing video content anyway, but it just gives me a, a bit more motivation to go out there and get the content done and all that kind of thing when I, I'm making a bit of money off it. So that's pretty much covers that. That's the scheduling. Um, I'll get all the playlists sorted and everything like that. So that will be coming up in this week. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up now, guys, with the usual Q&A session. Had some pretty good questions come through this week, actually. Okay, this one comes in from the Jeb. I was just wondering if you have any tip on how to level through Battleground. I have a fellow druid that I want to level in BGs, but I don't get so much XP. Okay, yeah, I get, I get this one a few times because I do the leveling through PvP stuff. 
what you want to do is you want to make sure you've firstly you've got all your heirlooms which give you your XP bonus. So you're getting 10%, 20% XP bonus from that. Join a top level guild as well so you get the increased X bonus from that. Whenever you're not playing the game, stay rested. Um, such as stay in the city or something like that so you're on rested XP because that's really good. These things um, really do start to add up. You start to level really, really fast once you get those done. And just go, go from there. Always look for what is on Call to Arms. As the battleground is on Call to Arms, you'll get more XP from doing that. It does take a bit of grind going through all the BGs and stuff, but if you follow those tips, that really should help you. Okay, got a few questions here from Megagills82. Hi, mate. I want to know a few things. How's the action bars in Star Wars? This is a really good question, actually, because I don't know if any of you guys follow the Swords News or anything, but there is actually a bit of an issue with the action bars in Star Wars at the minute, and that is there's a bit of delay from when you press the button for your character to actually doing the action. Like, every time you push a button in, well, your character does the action straight away. But there is a bit of a delay, and this is not due to, like, lag or anything like that. It's an error within Star Wars, the game itself. And now I'm only talking, like, a fraction of a second here, but it is something that they really want, need to sort of fix to keep the subscriber base up, because a lot of people are starting to notice it, myself included. I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm in PvP, or I'm trying to do the best DPS I can, I'm trying to turn the best I can, and it fucks up due to a little time delay on me pushing the button and actually doing something. Is the game much story based or not enough? Or not enough story based? I think it's enough story based. Um, I really look, it's one of the things that keeps making me play the game is the story and the way it unfolds and everything like that. The choice system and then getting the light side points, getting the dark side points, developing your character that way. It's really good. It's something that isn't in WoW and it's something that is a niche in this game I'd say because I've not really seen an MMO which has done that as much so it's really really nice. It actually makes me, it's really weird. You get quests like you're doing well to go collect eight of this random item. And you sat there and you'd be like, well why the fuck should I just go and collect eight of that random item? But when you feel the need, someone is asking you that I need this to live or whatever like that, you're like, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense, okay. I'll go and do it. It's, it's really good. I mean, the story element, you cannot fault it in any way. The, the voice acting, everything, absolutely brilliant. The cutscenes, awesome. How much does it cost per month? I believe it is £8.99. Don't quote me on that. I basically got um, a month free on the game when I, when I got it, um, so I haven't actually had to make a payment yet. And um, where can I get the game? Any major sort of retailer should have it. I know that some did sell out. If they do, check sites like Amazon. Amazon has a huge game collection on there. Um, if you're in the UK, there's game.co.uk and stuff like that. So if you can't find it in a shop, just order it online. Okay, thank you very much for the question. And the last one here, guys, comes in from Zerkan. How do you make your middle mouse button your alt button? And that's on the Raising Naga, I think he's asking that. Okay, what you need to do is you need to get the Raising Naga configurator. I'll put the link in the description below for you. And once you have that, um, you can just go on, onto one of the menus there and you just um, scroll down to the option, click, your, click the option and you just select, set it as the alt mouse button. Um, I know a few people have had an issue with that. I, I've actually tried to record this as well with Camtasia to, to show it, but it's having none of it and it isn't working unfortunately. But if you do that, that should be fine. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, thanks for watching. Congrats to the winner of the race, Naga. Um, condolences to the people who didn't win. I'll be bringing another contest out in the next two to three weeks' time. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.